Right, let's get this van packed and get on the road and head for Europe. Europe, here we come! And welcome back to the channel. So we're a bit excited now because um, we're packing the van up, um, ready to go and uh, get on our European trip. So it's, um, yeah, exciting times for us. Hopefully by the end of this vlog, you'll see where we're parked up, ready to get the, uh, the tunnel um, or Le Châtel across um, into France. Yeah, and I've just bought the most biggest suitcase full of clothes with me. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. mine's a little bag, yours is a massive suitcase, but yeah. hey, why not? We're going back to Portugal where um, we were supposed to have our honeymoon and we bought these suitcases for our honeymoon and it's them great big ones that, that wheel along, yeah. um, but we never got to use them so they won't have ever been on a plane. I don't think they ever are going to be on a plane because we've got the motor on, but they've come in used to useful to bring the stuff bring over. stuff here yeah, yeah and then so. the suitcase will be going in the car yeah. and that so in traveling with us i think i might have too much clothes again but we'll just see when i yeah when we'll I see so it. right we're gonna start packing up now um and get this van uh, sorted ready i've got a few jobs still to do i've got to put the dash cam on uh, i've got a bit of coolant to add so we've got a few jobs to get on with and then uh end up in uh Park well, up. One of the jobs that's already done is the van is looking clean. Let's show you the boot. I need to sort out the boot a little bit. Ah, oh, there's a bit of space in there. It's all right. And uh, a couple of water bottles. So that's fine. I've got some more water because I like to stock up with things like that. Just so when you get over there for a few days, you know, you haven't got to stop off anywhere, um, you know, to get to get water and your basic essentials anyway right so that's the uh, that's how the boots look in I always carry as well just a full little tub of um, ad blue just to sort of top up if needed um, and not worry about it right I'm gonna get on with sorting this boot out oh and actually there's another thing we've, we've got I caved in and uh, well I'll show you what it is there it is the Starlink yeah so I uh, invested in a Starlink satellite system for the for the internet um, last time when we was in Europe we did have enough data um, via EE but it's all the fair usage policies and stuff like that so it really slows down your speeds which can be a really big headache if you're uploading videos and stuff like that so I bought this as like a backup so we still have the, the router in the in the van and using the, the Wi-Fi as normal. Um, but it's gonna be for you know your phone and standard stuff really. No big uploads or downloads or anything like that. Uh, and if we're in any, I suppose, dead spots in Europe, the phone signal is actually pretty good. It's just now obviously we're UK. Um, the fair usage policy I think is over 12 gigabytes. Um, I'm not sure if it's a week or a month, but yeah, so um, I've got opted for Starlink and uh, give that a go while we're on the travel. So I'll let you know how that goes. Uh, another good thing with that is I will be uploading videos in 4K instead of HD like we did last time because um, they're bigger files. So yeah, right, let's crack on with this mess. So that's the clothes done. All the stuff hanging up and I've just got space here for some leggings that I've ordered and I'm waiting for them to come. So that's where they're going. Actually, there's not as much as I thought there was. I had much more than this on my first one last year. That's the boot all sorted now then as well. So stocked up on a bit of water. Got the one power bank, 400 watt solar. We've got the 100 watt solar that we're doing the giveaway on. That's coming with us. Table, a few chairs, leveling ramps, um, silver screen, bits and bobs that you may need. A few tools and stuff like that, really. Always got a bit of spare oil and stuff like that, especially if you're doing a long trip. Um, you can burn off your oil. And then in this side, Easy access to the uh, pedal lock, Starlink, easy access to the ramps, carpet, there's a couple of carpets down there, and then some, uh, some AdBlue. 
and then I ain't got to worry about all that sort of stuff then on the uh, on the trip. Um, last year, uh, it's actually in Gibraltar, we found some oil. I needed to top up a bit of oil um, because the gauge was telling me on these newer models, there's no dipstick, so you have to just go off the sensors and that's telling me that it was low. So um, now I'm carrying some with me. But you live and learn. All this stuff you learn. Um, but I've got a few other things to show you just down here. Finally, I've got the Garmin all set up as well. The other end is a USB-C, so I can plug it into that one there, which we don't seem to use a lot. And Jody can still use that USB-A for her phone. So that's perfect, but we can take the lead out um, when we don't need it in there, and this blind still shuts if we need to. A couple of other more bits that I've got, I'll show you them. Those of you that have watched our Benadorm vlog, you'll see that I got badly bitten by mosquitoes. I had lots of lovely viewers commenting and recommending this from Avon, Skin So Soft. Um, it's, it's really good apparently, so I'm going to give that a go. And just to be on the safe side, my lovely husband bought me um, some jungle formula. <laughs> um, so I've got that. I've also got um, from last time a lot of stuff that um, we had to treat it if it does happen. But hopefully this stuff, or definitely this, um, will prevent any any bad uh, mosquito bites. Uh, the next thing I invested in is because last year I put the um, light bending stickers on. Now, I have got LED lights on this, so I am hearing when you, you search it online that if you just lower that beam as low as possible, usually you usually can get away with it. But instead of running that risk, I've just bought some, um, I suppose, main beam light protectors, and then I was able to stick the um, light bending stickers onto that. Plus, if I got them, then every time we go away to Europe or whatever like that, I can just shove them on and take them off back, back over this side without it sticking to the van. What are you doing? Okay, as I was just on about then. So that's the protectors. And I think if we go on to this one, but I've lined up the stickers. Right, so this one's for over here. And it is just as simple as getting it in its place. And it's around about there. And flipping them in. And there you go, light bender's already attached. So then I can just unclip them and take them off. So happy with that, it just makes things a lot easier. Trying to get them off, um, when I got back it was just a pain and yes, I, I, you can get special sprays and maybe a bit of WD-40 and that helped, but that just saves all that hassle really. Um, 85 pound plus it protects the lights, so why not? Let's get the other one on then. We're driving in the daytime in the UK, so instead of putting them in the boot, I'm just going to leave them on for now, and time we get across the other side, I won't be needing them anyway. You've got your angle mort stickers? Yeah, so the angle mort stickers is the other thing, so I've got magnets for the cab, um, and they're in there, and then I've got to stick the one on the back. And if I remember, if I look at the back of the motorhome, I believe it's on the right, but I will double check that by searching Google. Um, and we'll show you. That's definitely the antifreeze. Don't want to mess that up before I go away. But I'm going to give it a little top up, just to make sure, and I need a funnel, really. Have you got one? I have got one. So I've got, will, it's probably best to use the in it then. <laughs> yeah, don't want it everywhere, do I? No. I've got a funnel in there now. I'm assuming you can mix different coolants together. You know, I'm no expert. It is ready to use mixture, coolant antifreeze. Oh, it's oh, it's orange. That looks green to me. Oh, is it? Yeah, of course it is green. <laughs> you can't colour <laughs> blinds left. <Yeah. laughs> oh, that's because it's mixed it. It looks orange in the thing. That's what you meant. Yeah, but... Um, what colour was in there originally? It's green. Uh, pink. Yeah, that's why then, because, yeah, mixed. Oh, well, I'm not going to put loads in, so I ain't going to harm it anyway. And then uh, I'll just take it with us, just in case. But not that I think it will need it. I think last year and going through the summer and then it was very hot over there. So the engine was obviously fighting to keep cool. I don't think we're going to have exactly the same heat as we did last time because um, we're going earlier in the year. 
but it looks like it's going to be in the 20s, isn't it? Uh, yeah, like, yeah. It's like still going to be nice. 20, 25 degrees, which is comfortable, isn't it? And, and yes, yeah, I'd, I'd look forward to that. So. <laughs> I'll tell you what else I'm going to do while I'm here. I'm going to clean that. Anyone else get this? Um, it's the air intake. Hang on. I'm sure that's like pine tree, tree needles from last year. <laughs> but it's the, the air intake and then water can get in here. Now, there should be a hole further down as long as it ain't blocked and the water can get released further down. So don't cause no damage. But I like to give it a clean every now and again. That's the first aid box sorted. All different paracetamols I brew in. We've got um, all sorts of mosquito stuff. Um, and creams and a first aid kit with plasters and things like that in so that's ready to go. Extra supplies, hand wash, shower cream, toothpaste can go up in there now as well. That's them sorted. I don't know if you remember from a previous vlog of mine when I was uh, we first got the van I was setting it up. I love these little bottles um, and I like to keep them full so I've got my shampoo, conditioner conditioner and shampoo so I've got plenty uh, in there um, and these are the, the shower gel ones that's the shower gel as well and this is my shower cream stuff and a moisturizer um, but I like to keep them topped up when we go away so we've got plenty so I've just been and bought some big bottles of shampoo conditioner and another shower thing for me um, and uh, some shower gel somewhere for Lee I'll have to find that out there's the uh Angle Mork stickers to go on the back, one of them. Um, also, I'm thinking, we've got some blink cameras, and I'm thinking of using command strips to stick these on. Let's we'll see if that works. Along with that, we've got our new 2024 uh, ACSI books um, for over Europe. You get two books, and you may have seen in a past vlog, but we've got a book the airs in France and the airs in Spain and Portugal. So they're within that. So we like to carry them. Loads of things are online and the apps and that are really, really good. But it's nice to flick through uh, a magazine and book now and again, isn't it? So, yeah. Yeah, it's good to just double check we're not missing something. Yeah. But we do use search for sites most of the time, don't we? Most that's of the, the time. We have got other apps and that, but mainly that's the one yeah. we like to use. So I'll stick them up here, out the way. That's that. Perfect. There we go. So the angle malt sticker is on and uh, is the right side of the wagon. So I've filled up all these um, little bottles now. just wanted to show you how um, nicely they fit in the shower area. Um, so if we're somewhere for a few days, I can just stay on there, which is uh, really more convenient. So all stocked up, ready to go. So what are you looking at doing with them? Right, yeah. So command strips. I'm going to cut them a bit smaller. Blink cameras. Um, I just think they're a good idea if you're leaving the uh, motorhome anywhere where you're unsure. Yes, people can take them off if they're not secure. Um, however, you might get their faces while they do it. But um, yeah, even if you're up on a lay-by, anything like that, you can just plonk them on. At least you can put them on around the sides and the front and you can have a 360 view around your van. So where um, are you putting the other ones then? So you run about because I, I thought know, you yeah. I thought you meant drive with that on the back. No, so I won't be driving with the cameras attached. Yeah. So there's there's no need. So I'll, I'll make sure they're unattached. Uh, otherwise, possibly they could fall off. But you're putting um, them where else? So this one I'm thinking of going next to the number plate. So I'll show you. It'd be easier. So obviously I don't know what damage, if any, command strips would do on this on the GRP, GPR, GRP, something like that. I can't remember. But um. So I don't want, want to stick it on there anyway. I was thinking of having it higher, um, but it's just as good, I think, down here. So if I put that on the on the actual number plate, one, it might be protected from the rain, so hopefully it don't come off. And then I will literally just attach that there. So that overhang bit over the top is not going to uh, block the vision from no 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 uh, the camera's there so that would just get yeah. everything you know I don't, I don't need it high but um so i'm thinking that's where the first one's going to go yeah and i'll just take them off every time we drive so i haven't got anything else to put in this cupboard now i've done most of it um because we've got like games bits there wires and stuff in there i've got some to bring with me because i've got to bring my um laptop and i've also got a new a slimline monitor as well because I'm working from home while we're away um, I need a, another monitor it's just easier for me um, so that's where that's going to go the computer 
this side's all Lee's gadgets and stuff that he needs. We've even got this can opener, but I don't even, uh, can crusher, should I say, but I don't even think we're going to need it. I'll see if he wants to t keep that or leave it here. Um, and then this is our food cupboard. Um, so that needs topping up next time we come up before we go. Found Lee's clothes. <laughs> Bit of a difference in uh, the amount that I've brought with me. I had a massive suitcase. <laughs> Um, I hope he's bringing some more. I don't think there's enough there. Um, yeah, he's got to be bringing some more, hasn't he? What you got to? Well, I didn't think about it. What with these cameras? Jeez, it's windy today. Could you anyway, hold of this door? It's about to go flying. Yeah, you have actually got um, these holders. So, I've super glued as well. I've had to super glue the command strip on a bit. I'll have to shut your door a bit, I think, because yeah, it's going to wind blow as it's shut. So, really, all we've got is that there, and that's how it'll look. But then I can stick that on there and move it. Well, I want it. So, it's better being on them. I'm just letting that dry at the moment. And then the other ones, I'm sticking them on there. So I might colour that black, but it doesn't matter. It is what it is. It's not on the bodywork, so that's great. There's a Look black that. sharpie in there, if that helps. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's something I'll do while we're on our trip. Yeah. Um, but then that just sticks there, and then that faces down. So I'm not going to have one at the front, I don't think, um, yet. We'll see how that goes. So I'm going to have one either side of the van, looking down, and then one at the, uh, the rear. Um, if we're in the van, then we can just look out the front window. I'll see. I might just lay one up at the front window, yeah. I've got four, so, yeah. Yeah, you can sit it looking out anyway, can't you, from inside? Yeah, that's right. The only thing that don't work properly for a glass, apparently, is the motion sensor. So. Anyway, I'm going to get on with sticking this up yeah. before the wind gets too much. I don't think the mic's going to like the wind so much either. Right, I'm going to go sort out that under kitchen cupboard. Yeah, that needs sorting out. That's definitely your job. <laughs> is that a blue job? Oh no, a pink job. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to sort out this cupboard. Oh gosh, it's getting windy. Can't wait to go abroad. Hopefully it's not like this. <laughs> right, so this cupboard under here, they've now um, changed these on these Swift models, the 794 and some of the other models as well. These are now drawers, not this cupboard. Mm. Some people prefer the drawers. Um, I'm not too sure either way, to be honest. I think they're both, um, both good options. And then this is the knife and fork drawer that comes out. Cutlery drawer. So we've got some bits and bobs. I've just tidied this bit up. These are my, I love these mats. Um, that I've got a load of them. Then we've got the air fryer uh, liners. And I stick the coasters in the top of there as well. Uh, that's all neat and tidy. Um, that's fine. It's just all this under here. So all the uh, cleaning products just need a bit of a tidy up so we can get to what we need easier. You know, it's like you just uh, get some out and throw it back in. So, yeah, it just needs a bit of a tidy. That's done. I think the problem was, Lee had that under the sink. Now, I just think it's quite a big bulky thing to have in there. So I'll move it. We've got a dustpan and brush as well in there, which is good. But this door shuts across like that. Um, you can still reach everything you need, so that's good. Yeah, he's found a new home for that now. Ah, uh, there's its new home. Fits perfect under the seat with the uh, power bank that we're giving away. So, are you oh, getting on all right? Yeah, I'm just putting the spare camera. Them batteries are for the blink camera, so right. not for anything else. But I'm putting the Never spare one in, in there so I can get rid of that big box, basically sort of our electricals and stuff. I've got one question. Yeah. Is that bag just all of your clothes? Yeah. I've got some more t-shirts, they're in the wash. Ah, oh, right, okay. I've got some bits. You have got another bag though that didn't show them as well, so you've got the... Yeah, I've got two bags. Two yeah. bags. So I did find that other bag of Lee's as well. I was just saying, compared to how many... Compared to how many clothes I've brought with me, <laughs> like massive suitcases. I'm just so. hoping I'll be in a pair of shorts and a t-shirt. We'll see. 
Yeah. It's not going to be like that all the time, obviously, but yeah. It'd be nice I if I didn't dream. I've probably got about one, two, three, seven pairs of shorts, one pair of jeans. <laughs> but I will be bringing some more jeans, so um, just got to load them up yet. Yeah. My turn. <laughs> After Lee's packed, see there's more clothes in there. After Lee's yeah. packed this up, we've got to give it a good spruce up, haven't we, the van before we go? Yeah, may as well. Shorts, shorts, more shorts. Can't have too many shorts. Groovy t-shirt. That's a, like a shirt, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> Groovy. Anyway, that's my stuff hung up. Yeah, so that's it. Um, sorted all ready to go um we're just gonna we've got a couple of days yet got some toiletries and that to bring with us mm -hmm. um yeah and that's it we're all packed up aren't we ready to go got yeah. everything in so it's really good um we are gonna go to the giveaway now from a previous vlog that we did for a power bank yeah so it's the s300 power um station just a, the small one and the 100 watt solar panel so we're going to take you to that now. On this giveaway there was 56 entries um, and we're going to do it on that wheel generator thing online. All the names are in so it's just a case of spinning that wheel. Just a quick reminder as well, this is a collection from the Newbury Showground on the 16th of May or that weekend. We can either meet you at the gate or if you go into the show, come and find us and, um, and we communicate anyway and then collect it off us. So it's for the small S300 power bank and the 100 watt solar um, panel. Um, but after this is done, whoever the winner is, if you can email us on lifesfortouring at gmail.com. It's all in the description and everything like that. So just email us and we'll go through um, the collection and everything with you. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, good luck. Zenti. Okay, Zenti, you are the winner. So, Zenti, whoever you are, well done. Ping us an email as soon as you can and make sure you can collect. Yeah. Um, and if for any reason you are unable to collect over that weekend, unfortunately, we'll have to redraw. Yeah. Um, so, please let us know either way, straight away. Thank you very much. Excellent. And congratulations. Yeah. And we'll see you at the show, hopefully. See you at the show. Um, right. Let's get back to the vlog because uh, no one knows yet. We're off to Europe. We've got somewhere to be. <laughs> About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get this is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free with me Let's go Like a few parking spaces about there. Yeah. We made it, darling. We did, we made it, got my ticket. So happy with that. Getting ready to go across the tunnel. Didn't hit any signs this time like last time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's there anymore. <laughs> anyway. I people have forgot about that. <laughs> right, we're just gonna get water, get parked up, and then we'll catch back up with you. Right, well here we are, all parked up. Lovely little spot. There's actually quite a few motorhomes in here today. Another one coming in as well. But yeah, getting exciting times now because early morning we're uh, travelling across. That's it for this vlog for us. Um, we've arrived in Canterbury and we're here for the evening and we're just going to settle down. Uh, we've got a really early start in the morning. We're leaving here 
quite early. We're getting up about half past five. Yeah, about half five, and we've got to check in by ten to seven. So um, the train leaves around ten to eight. So yeah, so a nice early start for us. So we're going to chill out here in Canterbury. Um, yeah, yeah. We, we've got. We're going to be doing Tuesdays and Thursdays now. Yeah, so from now it's going to be every Tuesday and every Thursday, still at half past five. Hopefully we get the timings right on the first vlog, because I think that messed up last time with the time difference, but it should be okay. Um, so half five on Tuesday will be the next vlog. That's just for the period of the year at um, vlogs, that's all. Then it'll go yeah. back to Thursdays again afterwards. Yeah. Well, and we'd like to thank all the new subscribers for supporting us and joining yeah, us definitely. on this journey. Definitely. I hope you enjoy our future vlogs. <laughs> I hope, yeah, I hope you carry on enjoying the vlogs, but we do appreciate it and um, appreciate everyone's support. So thank you for that. And uh, all the subscribers that have been with us from the beginning as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And everyone that's yeah. um, been with us from the start. So it's it, definitely much appreciated from us. Um, but on that note, I think we're going to get ready now to chill out get things ready for tomorrow and then get on that tunnel and head into Europe. So until then, on Tuesday, we will see you then. Bye. See ya.